Hi everyone, my name is Olha Cade. I'm the composer of a symphonic metal project called Valkata. Uh, we just put out a new song called Tower recently. Please check it out. We also just put out a bunch of new merch. So I'd really appreciate it if you could check it out and maybe grab a t-shirt or a hoodie. I'll leave links for everything down in the description below. Dream Theater released a new song called The Alien today, and this is from their upcoming album. I think it's called A View from the Top of the World. So I'm very excited about this because they are one of my favorite bands. Um, I'm very familiar with all of their discography, and I'm especially curious about this song because it's the, the first you know, glass of new music that we're going to get from their new album. And I'm excited. I want to get into it. I will be completely honest about how I feel about it. But I, I, if I do say anything negative, it's intended as completely constructive criticism. I might absolutely love it. I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, the reason I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive is because um, their last two albums personally didn't grab me uh, as much as some of their previous stuff. But you know, that's it's just a personal ta taste thing, I suppose. Um, uh, the two albums before that, I, I really enjoyed. So I really, I guess it's just, you know, things come in waves, I suppose. And, um, you know, like they're one of my favorite bands of all time. And I just love getting stuck into um, the, the meat of it and saying what I enjoy and what I feel works and what doesn't work. So enough rambling. <sighs> Let's see what is going on here. Fucking hell, it's a nine minute song, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What, where is this on the um, track list? I think it's the first song. Yep, it's the first song. Okay, so uh, I'm down, I'm down, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. I hate I hate stopping tracks, but I guess for a reaction video, I do have to stop and give my thoughts so far. So far, I'm loving it. You know, we were we definitely got into the fun stuff a lot quicker than I anticipated. I, I'm getting very heavy in the presence of enemies vibes from it. Some of the riffs and that guitar solo, very in the presence of enemies, but I'm not complaining um, because you know the uh, fucking. <laughs> what the hell is that album called? <laughs> um, Systematic Chaos. <laughs> I love the sound of that album throughout. So yeah, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm really curious to see where it goes. <laughs> this part is really Count of Tuscany, you know? Right? Really kind of Tuscany. I'm, I like it, and there's little variations from it, but it's very similar to it. Um, let's see where it goes. I love the groove of this verse. I like the chorus of what I believe was the chorus where he's just like, Elion. like, I like that. Um, and James Labrie sounds great. So far, I, you know, it's, it's so weird, like pausing a Dream Theater song because you really want to get into the mood of it and go on that journey. But so far, I, I am enjoying it. I 
So one negative comment I have is that, you know, that whole weaning through time. I don't know. It's like, I feel like I've heard that moment in a Dream Theater song like 20 times before, you know, there's just something about it where it's like, whoa, like major deja vu. Like I, I definitely listened to Dream Theater. And I don't know if that really can be considered a negative comment because I mean, how can you really expect a band to reinvent the wheel every single time when they have a career spanning almost 30 years now, you know what I mean? So it, it's cool, I guess. I just prefer the parts that take me by surprise a little bit more rather than, than stuff that I, I, like, I don't like the feeling of, oh, I'm listening to a Dream Theater song again. Like, you know, it's, I, I'm hoping to not feel that, but you know, we're only halfway through the song and what I'm really excited about is the inevitable, you know, crazy instrumental that, that's going to come up and like solos and shit. Like, I'm looking forward to that. And I know that's typical dream theater. And I just complained about about not wanting to hear a typical dream theater. But at the same time, I do want to hear typical dream, typical, <laughs> typical, typical dream theater. Uh, another thing is that I feel like in recent years, they're really tempted to put a strange effect on James's vocals, like this weird what is it like a vocoder or something I, i'm not like a mixing engineer so i don't know exactly what's going on there with his vocals but i much prefer the parts in the song where his vocals are very clean and you can hear like his true tone rather than this kind of weird uh digital thing and i know the song is called alien and i know that's probably what they're going for but um yeah i just prefer his clean vocals but let's let's keep it going <laughs> And I like that one little part, digital man. Oh, there's something cool about it. Just, it's really quick, but there's it's something really cool about that part. Dude, that riff is sick. And I, I think it's a guitar part, but it might be a keyboard part. That is a sick riff. I, this is the dream theater that I love. You know, you can really hear the tension building. You know, they're sticking with this, the same idea, but like the tension's building, there's a lot going on, but it's like a very, it's like a stream of consciousness, you know? And now there's a little bit of like a misdirection and we're going somewhere a little bit unexpected, but it still works. There was a nice, really like dirty part in there too, with some like discord and uh, dissonance in the chords. And um, yeah, I'm, this is, this is awesome. Beautiful guitar solo, amazing, amazing guitar solo. Those solo parts are really awesome. I really, really liked them. Um, and there was a little bit of unison there at the end, I think, and it just sounded great. Okay, I will say that this, this vocal passage is a little boring. It's such a shame when the, 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 the instrumental is so interesting and there's so many cool ideas and they just kind of phone it in sometimes with the vocal melody. And I'm not saying anything about James' vocals. His voice sounds great. I'm talking about the vocal melody itself. You know, it's a little bit plain. The rhythm here is relatively basic compared to what's been going on in the song so far. So. I, I think James, you know, he's definitely more capable of more intricate melodies that don't always have to like land on the beat and, you know, that, you know, maybe include a little bit of a, a nice tasty little vocal run here and there, you know, there's not a whole lot of that going on here. It's very much like on the beat, extended notes, 
And I know that we're about to break into something different, but that's my immediate feeling regarding this particular section. Okay, this part, this part is actually quite nice. The melody here is a little bit, there is a little bit of like dynamics. He's going up and down. I, I quite like this part. This part is better than the previous verse. A nice reprisal of the uh, guitar solo from the beginning. Okay, that was a cool ending. I liked the the riff, the riffing at the end there. Um, the the choir part made me think of Bridges in the Sky. Um, and overall, you know what? I'm excited. I'm excited for the album. <laughs> I'm excited for the. I know there was a moment there where it's like, what is he gonna say? Um, there are a few parts here and there that I wasn't crazy about. And those parts were more honestly reminiscent of stuff I've heard on the previous two albums. But the other more exciting parts are really things that I've missed hearing from Dream Theater. Like really creative stuff, but also just very strong songwriting. I, I think the mix sounds great. Admittedly, I'm not I'm not listening to it on a on some quality speakers. I'm I'm, I'm playing it from my MacBook, but from what I can hear, I really like the mix. The drums sound great. Um, everyone's doing a swell job. That's pretty much it. I'm I'm really excited for the album. I'll be listening to this song a lot. Definitely. I feel like this is already like my favorite song since the self-titled album. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. What, what do you guys think? Um, let me know your thoughts. If you agree with me or disagree, um, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to react to. Check out my band Valkata. Um, check out the links down below and please follow us. I'm always working on new stuff. So I can always do it with the support. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks and I'll talk to you later.